On the 24th of July 2020, face masks became mandatory to wear in supermarkets across England. I remember thinking to myself, yeah, whatever, I ain't gonna wear that. And for the first couple of times, I tried not to, but everyone else was wearing one. And I kind of felt pressured. The Karens were staring and a sign said that anyone caught without wearing a face mask could be slammed with a hundred pound fine. I ended up wearing a face mask from that day onwards. The British population went from hating the idea of people covering up their face to believing it was a new part of their life, all within the space of a single law. In fact, during the same time period, pubs and clubs closed in a nation whose existence is to party on the weekend. This all highlighted a very clear point. All individuals are affected by the society they live in and part of society is the system which governs it. So to change the behavior of people en masse, the laws implemented over them also must change. This applies to good and bad behavior. For example, before the Prophet ﷺ conquered Mecca, the population were idol worshippers and surrounded the Kaaba with 360 idols. But after the conquest of Mecca, the idols were destroyed. Tawheed was implemented and within a short space of time, the majority of Mecca became Muslim. On the flip side of that, the introduction of pop concerts and raves in Saudi Arabia it promotes free mixing and immorality. The access to Bollywood and TikTok in Pakistan it allows Western values to seep into Pakistani society. The legality of pornography and prostitution in Turkey this promotes the sin of zina freely amongst the people. It's absurd then to think that the individuals within society can change themselves without changing the system that they live under. As Allah Taala mentioned in the Quran, Inna Allah la yughayyir ma bi qawmin hatta yughayyir ma bi anfusihim. Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of a people until they change what is within themselves. The terms qawm and anfusihim here refer to a collective change from a nation who seeks to find a better way of conducting its affairs. It's not referring to people praying more or giving more zakat because this verse even applies to the kuffar and the kuffar they do not pray or give zakat. In fact, when the kuffar collectively sought this change, their conditions also changed. The communists when they gathered around communism, the Europeans when they agreed upon secularism and the Americans when they fought for their independence, they all changed the way that they wanted to live life as a nation. So Allah changed their conditions to the point that they exceeded the Muslim ummah, the Muslim nation, technologically, politically and militarily even though these people are the fathers from Islam. Allah will not change the condition of this ummah until we as an ummah, as a qawm, seek and work to live under the implementation of Islam. Once we live under this Islamic system, the condition of the entire nation will change rapidly. Prayer will be enforced, sexual deviancy will be banned, and the Islamic values will be promoted upon everyone. This is when the condition of the Muslim ummah will change for what's better. And Allah knows best.